Okay. Um, so Earth Expeditions, um, again, if you're in the Global Field Program and, and you will go on three of these Earth Expeditions, um, if you're in the Advanced Inquiry Program, you have the option to go on one. Um, and once you're an alumni, you can go on as many as you want. Um, these are open um, so to folks to uh, take it various stages of their, their life. So, um, so you do your pre-field coursework, which is online. There's a synthesis paper. It's like a research paper. And it's usually focused on the location where you're going. So um, maybe I'll, I'll put Ken on the spot here. Um, do you remember your synthesis paper for Belize? Yeah, it, it was literally about community-based conservation and the, the successes and not so successes about it, how um, programs not only in Belize, but across the world uh, were run and, and yeah, so it really helped me prepare. Once again, not only for Belize, but I had an interest in how do I do that in Cincinnati area too. Right, and, and Belize is famous in many ways for having the Community Baboon Sanctuary as one of the best examples of community-based conservation, one of the early examples of how that can be enacted. And so, um, yeah, it's, a, it's I, I definitely got chills when I walked onto, onto the uh, sanctuary there after having, having read about it um, in various textbooks and such. And see your first howler monkey or hear your first <laughs> howler monkey. <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll share some more about Belize in just a minute, and maybe Tenoya will share about Baja, um, being our, our local Baja expert now. Um, so yeah, 10-day field experience. Um, and, and some students will opt to, if, if you're going to travel all the way to Mongolia, like Tenoya did, um, and you're paying for that flight and all that, and going through um, jet lag and whatnot, you might want to stay longer and some folks opt to do that and that and that is fine. Um, so and those 10 days all the the food and, and lodging of course is included and you're with the group and all the transport and everything is is covered and you're learning and getting some talks and lectures but also doing a lot of seeing and experiencing. Um, afterwards, this one's really important. We get some people like, can't we just go to Belize and be done? And it's like, no, the whole point of that trip is to inspire action, right? So it's not just that we get to go on this fancy trip in this beautiful place and experience that for ourselves, but that we take that inspiration and then do something with it when we get home. Um, so like Ken was saying in, in Cincinnati or wherever you're from, that you take those ideals and those things you learned about community-based conservation, you find a way to make it 